guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing a what I eat in a day video, taking you through everything that I eat as a busy ass girl, okay? I feel like I see a lot of what I eat in a day videos that just seem beautiful in theory, but I don't have like five hours a day to be busting it up in the kitchen. So I try to pick meals that just do the job, that they are quick, that they fuel me up, and of course that they're yummy because that is a super important thing. Also, I try to pick recipes that are minimal cleanup because I'm already a naturally messy person. So anything that will require so much cleanup is just a no. For me <laughs> so do want to let you know that today's video is sponsored by green chef i will be making a green chef meal for dinner i have actually been subscribed to both green chef and hello fresh for the past few months and girl it has changed the game for me i did work with hello fresh a while ago like i think more than a year ago now but i have been subscribed to them and for someone like me that you know i'm a business owner i'm super busy it just saves me so much time and it saves me from having to make decisions like all the time that to me is what kills me but um i'll be talking more about that later on around dinner time so yeah so let's start with breakfast so for breakfast we're doing a super quick smoothie i'm about to make it right now i'm not usually super starving for breakfast so i either have some tea and like a little biscuit or something or i'll just fast until lunch or i'll make a smoothie like we're gonna do today all right so our breakfast smoothie is gonna be a pina colada protein smoothie you can do it the easy way you can also make this with just regular vanilla protein but i'm going to be using my pina colada protein shake so you can actually make this with just milk or just water on its own that's usually what i do for my post-workout shakes when i don't have a lot of time but for breakfast we're going to spruce it up a bit we're going to add some pineapple chunks some coconut some ice to really make it like a slushy i'm almost running out of this and again you don't have to use the pina colada protein you can use any vanilla or regular protein that you have but obviously since this is already kind of pina colada flavored this makes it a lot more flavorful and it tastes it just tastes like just like a pina Colada. it's incredible and then look at this discovery we've got a toasted coconut almond milk blend oh it's gonna be so good with this smoothie we're gonna add some pineapple chunks. chunks let's do it so we're gonna start off with some ice and again these are not super specific measurements you just kind of throw it all together taste it and adjust things as needed we're gonna add about one cup of the coconut milk so i'm gonna measure one cup here then we're gonna add a scoop of root of this which by the way, you know, I personally worked on this flavor. It's part of my like woman's best collab and it is fire. So I'm gonna do like a rounded scoop. Just throw that in there and then we're gonna add some pineapple chunks just to give it more of like a, you know? Oh, what the fuck is that? So we're gonna add as many pineapple chunks as we want. I'm gonna add like one, two, three, four, five. And let's blend it up. Oh. I have to line it up. All right. Okay. Making a mess already. I'm gonna try it with a little spoon to make sure the flavor is it. Oh my god, that's good, but it needs the ice needs to be crushed a little more, so. All right. Wow, look at that consistency. Look at it. It's like a real pina colada. All you need is some rum in here and... <laughs> mm, good. We're gonna serve our smoothie and I like to garnish with coconut flakes because I'm bougie like that. Then we're gonna cover the rim of the glass with pineapple. It needs to be something sweet because that's what's gonna cause it, you know, to be sticky. And then we just dip all around to get a nice coconut rim and this just you know makes you feel like you're drinking a cocktail on an island far far away which is where we all want to be right now all right and we're gonna pour that baby in oh my god she is a beauty look at her and then of course we choose some salt bay with the coconut flakes i'll clean, I'll clean that up Wow! wait we need a straw and here we've got a pina colada smoothie. Just remember that if you are using a regular like vanilla protein, not the pina colada protein, you do have to add a lot more pineapple and more coconut flavoring to really get it where it's at. But this smoothie right here, which I'm almost out of, you can make this with just milk and it is still super good. This just makes it a little bit more like extra. 
Mm. Oh my god, I need to go to an island. So this is pretty much my breakfast and the awesome thing about this protein shake is that it does keep me feeling pretty full for a while and like I said, this is geared more towards like busy people and as much as I love to eat when I have a lot of work to do or I have a lot of shit to do or errands to run, I can't always think about eating or making myself food all the time. So I like to pick really fulfilling meals that keep me feeling fuller for longer. Boom, boom, boom. It's lunchtime. It's lunchtime. It's lunchtime. It's lunchtime. For today's lunch, we are making a pineapple stir fry with pork. If you are vegan or vegetarian, you can substitute the pork with mushrooms and keep everything else the same. This is actually a recipe that was inspired by one of my HelloFresh recipes and I love it so much because it is so easy to make and you want to know what the best part is? You only need one pan, which makes cleanup super easy. I'm not like having to use a bunch of appliances and it's just more fun to do everything one pan. Like you just throw something in and you throw something else in, you know. So really quickly, I'm gonna go over the ingredients that we need for today. So obviously you do need a pan. You're gonna need a small bowl, ground pork. We have got our ready rice right here. I just covered this recently and like, oh, where has this been all my life? Even though I have a pressure cooker to make rice, it's just, it's so big, so complicated to set up. And when I try to make rice on the stove top, it always burns. So this thing, pop it in the microwave for how long is it? 90 seconds. And it's done for you so actually the original recipe that i did used black rice which i loved so much but that was like impossible for me to find so we're using white rice for our like veggies slash fruits you're gonna need a green pepper and some scallions and we are going to be using pineapple so i like to get these because you need both the pineapple juice and the pineapple chunks and these little cups already come with that mate so that makes it super easy then for the sauces we're going to be using a little bit of sriracha depending how spicy you want it poison hoi poison sauce, some cornstarch to help thicken up the sauce, and some sesame seeds for garnish and for the rice and just to add a little bit of spice. You know. It's honestly super easy. You're just gonna warm up the pan. We're gonna cut up our greens and let's just cook this thing together. So as the oil is heating up in the pan, we are gonna slice up our greens. So we've got the scallions and the peppers. For the scallions, you can really just use one stalk or two stalks if you wish for two, I'm making about two servings for me and Johnny here. But I love scallions. So I'm using three whole little stalks and the green pepper and always, always separate the greens from the whites because the white part of the scallions is good for like cooking. So actually, heating it over the pan and the green part is good for garnishing so to eat it fresh so now that we have our greens cut up oil is still warming up we're actually going to drain the juice and put it into a separate little bowl to make like our sauce so keeping the pineapple in the thing we're just going to let the juice fall into the bowl so then to this, we're gonna add two tablespoons of poison sauce, one tablespoon of cornstarch, and a little bit of sriracha. I do just a tiny drizzle because I actually don't like spicy food, but I like that the flavor that the sriracha gives it, like a little bit of a little bit of spice, but not that much. But of course, if you like your food super spicy, you can go crazy with the sriracha. That's fine, you. So let's add our sauces and whisk them up. I forgot to tell you to add two tablespoons of water just to like loosen up the sauce a little bit so it's easier to mix in when we're cooking it all together. So I'll whisk the two tablespoons of water in there too. So now we are gonna throw our pork in or the mushrooms if you are using mushrooms. I'm gonna do about a pound, but a little bit less than a pound of pork. This is 1.6, so I'm just gonna, what's half of 16? Eight, okay, that sounds about right. No. Eight is half of 16. Okay. Let's just, Wing it, okay? Half of this, that looks about right. With fork, this should be on medium high, by the way. We're just gonna break this up. Season with salt and pepper. We are gonna keep breaking this up with a spoon for about four to five minutes until it's like slightly browned. It doesn't have to be cooked all the way through because we are gonna keep cooking it, but um, yeah, just round it up on the outside. So now when it's browned, it doesn't have to be cooked through, we're gonna move this to one side of the pan. This can keep cooking and we're gonna heat another little drizzle of oil on this side and we're gonna add the green pepper and let the green pepper cook for a while in there. So keep these two uh, separated for the time being. So then after like two to three minutes, it depends on how hot you have your stove top. Once the peppers are a little bit softened and browned, we're gonna add the scallion whites. Remember I told you to separate them? We're picking up the scallion whites. I'm gonna throw them in here. And we are gonna add our pineapple chunks. We're gonna let this cook on that same side of the pan. We're not gonna mix it 
two things yet until the scallion whites are soft and the pineapples a little bit browned on the outside. So we're just gonna let that cook in there. Everything has its own little step of section. And this is probably gonna take like two or three minutes. And in the meantime, we'll wait for that. You're gonna make our rice. So you should kind of massage the rice in the package. And then we're gonna rip it open, stick it in the microwave for 90 seconds. So once the rice is ready, we're gonna put it into a bowl and we're gonna stir in one tablespoon of butter. There's a little bit more than one tablespoon, but that's okay. So we're gonna stir that in, let it melt. And we're actually gonna add the scallion greens in here. So I'm not gonna do all the scallion greens. I'm doing half because the rest will be like for garnish at the top. And we're gonna put sesame, sesame seeds. Put as many as you want here. I love sesame seeds, so I always put one. Go crazy. We're just gonna mix all of that up together. And of course, we're gonna add some salt because rice always that you can just do it to your taste preference. I'm gonna salt some bitch, but I don't want. Okay, and now finally, we've got the pineapple that's starting to get a little bit browned. So the pepper, so we're finally gonna mix all these things up together. Wow, look at that pork, it's brown. We're gonna add our stir fry sauce. And we are gonna mix everything up until it's all coated in the sauce and the sauce has thickened, which usually takes like maybe two or three minutes. And we are pretty much almost done. And before we serve, we're gonna do one last thing. We're gonna turn off the heat and add a tablespoon of butter. And stir it all in to help make it like creamy and buttery and just let the butter melt after you turn off the heat. And then we're gonna serve this over our rice mixture. And we're ready to eat. So here we've got a super delicious, super quick, and just an easy, fun recipe to make that it's really not that tedious at all, and it tastes really, really good. I'll do a taste test for you guys. Oh, it's, it's hot though. I love it. I'm telling you, stir fries have become my new favorite thing. Especially now that I discovered these ready-made rices, which to me was always like the worst part of having to make a stir fry is having to make the rice. Mm. Mm. This is like my go-to little meal. So hopefully you try it and you enjoy it. And then for dessert, we are having my newest obsession. It's this Chobani like yogurt dessert things. And it already comes with the granola. No, it's a graham cracker and chocolate chip. But this is so delicious and it's high in protein. And like, just trust me, you gotta try it. I'm gonna open this up. And I usually have yogurt with granola, but this already comes with like a little thing. So just flip it in there. And not only does it come with like graham cracker pieces and chocolate, but it has like little sugar caramel things. It's just, it's so good. This is 100% worth the hype. Mm. Mm. All right, so now it is time for dinner and I have pulled out my Green Chef box. So Green Chef is a USDA certified organic company that makes eating well easy and affordable. They have dishes for a variety of lifestyles, including paleo, vegan, vegetarian, and keto. So Green Chef lets you choose from a variety of different recipes. You have nine recipes to choose from each week and all the ingredients get delivered to you. It is super easy to make and it has made my life so much easier because I don't have to plan so much when it comes to my meal and what I'm gonna eat and all the recipes are so delicious one of my favorite parts is that I get to try new things and new recipes that I would not have tried by myself otherwise so it helps me get out of my comfort zone and try new things so let's see what is in the box let's see what recipes we got today so here are the recipes that we have oh my god this one looks good <gasps> burgers Oh wow, these all look so good. So for these, you can see the cook time, the servings, and the calories per serving. That's approximate. Oh my God, which one do I pick? I think I'm feeding the pork chops today. With shallots. That looks good. And then on the back, you can see they have step-by-step -step instructions on how to do each thing. So it's super easy to follow and delicious. The ingredients all come pre-measured, pre-portioned, and mostly prepped. And this not only saves you time because you don't have to like hunt for ingredients and separate them, but this is also less wasteful because a lot of times I go to the grocery store, I get my ingredients, I don't get to use them all. So you get exactly the amounts that you need right here. And this basically takes out the not fun part of cooking, which is kind of like prepping for it. And it lets you do all the fun stuff, which is play chef in the kitchen, try all these wonderful new recipes. So we're gonna cook this together and do a taste test when we're done.
So here is the final finished product. I'm so excited to dig in and take a bite. But every time I make a meal from Brain Chef or HelloFresh, I feel like I'm a little chef whipping up a creation. And I always feel so proud of every meal that I make because everything is so delicious, so unique, but also yummy and nutritious. Let's try this and see what it tastes like. Oh my God, that shallot sauce looks so good. Mmm. Mmm. Five out of five stars. And the broccoli? Babe, I can't wait for you to try this. I eat most of the broccoli, so. I know. Oh my god, it's so good. I have never been disappointed by a meal. Like, and especially meals that don't really look like they're gonna be that good. I'm kind of like, mm, I don't know how I'm gonna feel about this. And then I end up eating it and I love it. So if you wanna try Green Chef for yourself, you can head to greenchef.us slash 90 Vicky and you can get $90 off plus free shipping on your first box. So the link for that is in my description, but I have been using both Green Chef and HelloFresh for months now and I love it. I recommend it to everybody I talk to. It's just so good, you have to try it for yourself. So if you do try it or if you already order it, let me know what you think in the comments below. I'm gonna finish enjoying my meal and yeah, I hope you guys have a great night.